Hi, you are watching VSDC channel, where we show useful post-production tricks. From today's video, you'll learn how to cut and sync video to music beat. It doesn't matter whether you are working with a long piece of footage or with multiple short video files, you'll be able to apply this approach easily in both cases. So first, create a project and import your video file. If you have a separate audio file, import that as well. Now, once you have your audio on the timeline, notice it should be displayed as a waveform. If you don't see the waveform, hit this icon on the left and select Show Waveform. Let's take a closer look at the timeline and the layers we are working with. If you need to adjust the scale here, use the plus and minus buttons to change the height of the timeline or you can use hotkey combinations shift plus and shift minus to change the width of the timeline now going back to the waveform if your soundtrack contains clear beats like drums you'll see something like this these are peaks of the waveform when you start editing the video these peaks will be your guidance now let's play a small fragment of your video till the first waveform peak and make a cut using the Ctrl K combination. Then play a bit more of the video, make sure to select a longer fragment that is significantly different from the previous one. Here, for example. Now make another cut. Next, click on the piece in the middle and delete it. Drag the right side video fragment to the left and dock it. Repeat these steps as many times as you need. Again, you want to be guided by the waveform peaks and keep an eye on the image preview. If you want to add transitions later, select all the video and audio files on the timeline and convert them into a sprite. Then adjust the following parameters. Use as container? No. Show effects? Yes. Once you do that, you'll be able to apply any filter or video effect and create awesome transitions. Was this helpful at all, guys? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit this little bell icon to get notified when the next tutorial is out.